My name is Mary Hoffaker, and I've been attending New NAS since about 1994 when we moved here from Kansas. Raising three sons has not been easy. Uh, the oldest is David. He's a career military in the Navy, California. Keith is a, a journeyman electrician. He attends here at Newark NAS. He lives in Newark. And my youngest son, Daniel, who was an apprentice tool and die maker at a local company. Um, he was very excited about being in the apprenticeship program, going to SeaTech, taking trigonometry, and uh, his whole future lay in front of him. We had no idea that it was going to change in a heartbeat. October 3rd, at about 12.30 in the afternoon, I was in a restaurant in Mount Vernon, as a matter of fact, having lunch with some friends when I got the call. And all they said was, Daniel's been in a very bad accident. You need to get to OSU emergency immediately. What they didn't tell me was they weren't sure whether he was even going to make it or not. Because you see, the accident did happen in the middle of the night. It happened about 12.30 in the morning, October 3rd, but they didn't find him until 10.30 that morning. So for 10 hours, he was in a wrecked car which had been rolled several times, slammed up against some trees. And for 10 hours he sat there by himself. But he wasn't really alone because God was with him. God kept him alive that whole time. When I didn't know it, I, nobody knew what, what ha happened and what was going on, but God knew. God was there with him. He was listed as trauma tango because they didn't have his wallet, apparently didn't know who he was. So we got to the surgical ICU and, and there was Daniel. And there was absolutely nothing that I could do but pray. The doctors gave us an awful prognosis. They said 90% of these cases never wake up. The other 10% are severely disabled. On a scale of one to five, five being the worst kind of brain injury, the brain trauma, Daniel had a five. I asked the doctor, have you ever seen a case like this recover? And he said no. So we were given no hope. Daniel left the ICU on October uh, 12th, and they were taking him to a step-down unit in another section of OSU Medical Center called Rhodes Hall. And I remember it was when he was in Rhodes Hall that he opened his left eye for the first time. We were all in the room, and they sat him up. And David said, look, Mom, he's got his eye open. We immediately got down on the floor and we're looking up at him and said, Daniel, we're here, we're here. Just little things like that every single day. I have a whole journal of things from one day to the next and I call them my little miracles because every day there was a new miracle for Daniel. He was transferred to Flint Ridge Rehab Center um, on December 7th and they give a very good prognosis. There is no reason why he should not make a full recovery. He may or may not be 100%, but that's okay. We still have Daniel, and that's awesome. And through it all, God has always been there. He's always been there for me. Joy is a whole lot more than a smile on your face, although that's a good place to start. Joy is something very deep inside. It's, it's a permeating love of God that just has to shine out of your life. It's the peace knowing that He is in control, taking care of everything, no matter what happens. And eventually, maybe we'll know the reason why, and maybe we won't, but God's got it in control. He's got it covered. Joy is knowing that I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to figure out. I don't have to be smart enough, because God's got it, and I'm good with that. Thank you very much for all you give. And I will love you.